Next topic is calculate fee and claim it in a Coinbase transaction. So let's go ahead and define a new function called calculate fee. Calculate fee self define variable self input amount input amount and self dot output amount and the difference of input minus output will be our fee so this means how much money the sender has and how much he is sending out let's say miner has 10 bitcoins in his wallet he is sending 5 bitcoins to somebody else and 4 bitcoins back to himself as a change so the remaining one bitcoin will go to miner as a fee so that he can include the transaction in the block let's implement the logic to calculate the fee First calculate input amount or ex id underscore index in self dot remove spend transactions. If, if you remember, we have already collected the transactions that we need to remove from the UTXO. So we have the transaction ID that we can use to fetch the transaction amount because your transaction amount is there in the transaction output. So let's go ahead and retrieve the transaction output here. So do if PX ID index and at zero position we have the previous transaction hash convert it into hex in self dot utxos and do self dot input amount plus equals to self dot utxos and your previous transaction id zero dot x and tx out which means our transaction outputs and at which index the transaction that we are using so add the index number and then fetch the amount that we have associated with that index amount and that's it it will fetch the transaction input amount and now let's implement the transaction output amount calculate output amount calculating the transaction output amount is very simple let's implement the for loop for tx in self dot add transactions so we already have the list of transactions or tx out in tx dot tx underscore outs so we are reading the transaction outputs only self dot output amount plus equals to tx out dot amount now we have the input and output as well now simply do self dot fee equals to self dot input amount minus self dot output amount and that's our fee now let's call this function right here self dot calculate fee and now we need to add this calculate fee in the coinbase transaction so once we have the coinbase object we can simply change the transaction amount so let's do it coinbase transaction dot tx outs first element in the list dot amount equals to coinbase transaction dot tx outs zeroth and amount plus whatever fee we have collected add it 
Now we have changed the Coinbase transaction. So which means we need to update our transaction ID as well. So instead of uh, using the TX ID here, call the ID function, it will calculate the new ID based on the changes we have made to this transaction. And that's pretty much, we are done with it, save it. And let's quickly see if everything is working fine. Set the breakpoint here on the calculate transaction and run and debug. Okay, that's good. Everything is working fine, but uh, we need to see if it is calculating the fee correctly. So for that, we need to transfer some money. So let's do that. Transfer coins from this address to this address. And let's say we are transferring 10 coins. And let's complete this cycle. And then we will press the send button once we have the UTXO to spend. And now we have it. Click send. And I'll run the cycle once again. Now it should read our transaction from the memory pool and let's go inside the calculate fee function. Okay. So let's see the input amount. So we have 50 bitcoins which are there in the Coinbase transaction. So that's good. Let's see the transaction output now. So we have two transactions in the transaction output. First, the 10 coins we sent to the person and then the remaining change to back ourselves. And let's see the difference. We have fee one Bitcoin and the total input was 50 and the total output is 49 Bitcoins. So which is perfectly in sync. Let's see our Coinbase transaction now. And the Coinbase transaction ID is this one right now and it will update the id once we'll add the amount here let's see the current amount of the coinbase transaction which will be in the output right now it's 50 bitcoin so now it should be 51 after running this statement let's see and yeah we have 51 bitcoins now so that means we have included the fee now we are updating the transaction id here and awesome everything is working fine so we have implemented the fee functionality as well